All right, finishing up the abdomen section uh, with the hepatic system. So make sure you review your anatomy. Do you know your ducts? Do you know your cystic duct, hepatic, common bile duct? Um, do you know what study this is from by just looking at this picture? Do you know that's from an ERCP? Do you know what ERCP stands for? Um, would you be able to pick out the ducts if this was the picture that you were given? All right, so review those. Gallbladder. Um, know the difference between cholangiogram, um, the surgical, the operative cholangiogram. What does it demonstrate? Where is it done? The surgical one is done in the operating room. Body habitus. Make sure you review body habitus and gallbladder location so it's important to know um, where the gallbladder will sit. Let me move my little picture here. There we go. Um, difference between hypersthenic, asthenic, and I always remember it as tall and thin, down and in, short and stout, up and out. What does that mean? It's a little tip to help you understand where the gallbladder is. So if your patient is tall and thin, the gallbladder will actually be down and more midline. If they are the hypersthenic or the massive, short and stout, um, they're bowel is actually going to push up on their stomach so their gallbladder is going to be raised up and pushed to the outside. The urological studies uh, know the difference between which one is structural and which one is for functional. So can you look at the different studies and um, determine which is which? Um, VCUG, right, the V is for voiding. So we're looking to see the voiding function. Know the voiding positions for AP versus for male versus female. Females they'll be AP. The RPO 30 degree oblique is used for males when voiding to separate the femurs. IVU used to be called IVP, so you might some of your some of you might hear IVP at clinical or referring to something else, but make sure you review your obliques knowing which side will demonstrate which um, kidney. The nephrogram is for the kidney function. Um, looking at anatomy here, we're looking at ureters, kidneys, bladder, which way um, or how patent is the contrast flowing down, and kidney stones will show up bright white. Review kidney anatomy. Go back through your kidney anatomy for me. Slap the belly. Uh, this is another Kettering helpful tip for knowing which location or where you'll see um, the kidneys for the oblique. It's almost identical um, to SI joints, right? It looks almost exactly the same. And if you remember um, that for SI joints, you see side up. Well, look at that. Side up. For kidneys and ureters, it's opposite. So if you're seeing um, the kidney parallel, then you're going to see you're going to want to go the other way to see the ureter. This was just a nice chart that I had found um, of the procedures and then the contrast medium delivery specified. So for voiding cysto, it's a retrograde flow into the bladder. Um, the retrograde urethrography is retrograde injection um, through a clamp or specialized catheter. The IVU is the IV injection. It's the antegrade flow. So antegrade versus retrograde, review those terms. And then this was just an example of the RPO oblique. Kidney oblique, um, looking for which kidney is elevated, which one is on downside, can you see kidneys, can you see ureters, um, what is better demonstrated. So for this one, for RPO, the downside, the ureter is free of superimposition of the spine, but the upside is the kidney that's parallel. So for RPO, we're looking at the left kidney parallel, right ureter is what we're looking at here.